this folks is Jilumis from Shimano GCX Lite. Got so many questions about this rod and I dared to give you an opinion without ever having touched this rod. My gosh, did I nail it? Did I nail it? I have seen so many rods at this point that when I see a few diameters and the weight and the guides in the handle and I know how it's gonna feel. But let me give you a close up of the rod. I will say, first of all, this is a beautiful looking rod. It has the Presso accents. If you want a high-end Presso rod, these look very nice. The blank is not shiny. The guides have black frames. They look shiny, but they have black frames. Uh, they have sick inserts and still, yeah, they're kind of cheapish guides, which is why I told you I don't recommend this rod. This rod actually has, this is the 6 foot 6 light, I believe. It says light fast, interesting. This rod is, I don't know what fast is. This rod has neither a fast action nor fast recovery. First of all, it is very parabolic, which I love. The recovery though, gosh dang it, I'm a little bit spoiled with these high-end Japanese rods. Because of the heavy guides and the blank is not so high-end, the recovery is a little bit slow. Here is what I think about this rod. It is a beautiful, awesome, $150 rod. This is exactly what the $150 St. Croix rods should look and feel. But instead, the $150 St. Croix rods feel like shit. And you gotta pay $270 to get a nice $150 rod. This rod, the first thing when you grab it in, with your hand, is you notice this is a heavy rod. I mean, I have bass fishing rods that weigh less than this. Not only that, but it's tip heavy too. This cannot compare to anything JDM. I don't think you should ever confuse G Loomis with, as far as ultralight fishing. I don't wanna rough up the bass crowd. But as far as ultralight fishing, G Loomis is not at all comparable to JDM, but not at all, completely different. Jilumis is as much JDM as St. Croix is. This rod feels like St. Croix, but it looks a little nicer. Here is my thought. If, if you buy this rod for $270, you would be overpaying by $120, but I can find nothing wrong with the rod if it was a $150 rod. It has amazing action. It is a very elegant, very beautiful. Don't be afraid of the fast actions. They are not fast. So I would rather, to tell you the truth, sometimes overpay but get what I want then get a good deal on something, but there is something that bothers me. There is nothing on this rod that bothers me. I told you it's a little bit heavy, only compared to the Presso Air AGS. The recovery is a little bit slow, only compared to the $300 Japanese stuff. I'm reporting objectively, so you know what to expect. You would be overpaying, but you're getting a nice, mid-range rod that will be easy to resell will be easy to resell one day man i'm gonna make a jewelmis video these are the nrx rods 
I have seen so many Chivumis NRX reviews from Tactical Basin. I have been waiting a long time to touch one of these, even though I don't do bass fishing. But you don't see these rods at Bass Pro Shops, so I thought, let me touch one of these, look one of these, to see what is tactical bassing so gaga about. They're absolutely gaga about this NRX. They're like, when people touch the NRX, they're like, okay, now I get it. Now I get it. This rod is considered creme de la creme. Just the absolute best in bass fishing, the most sensitive, the lightest. Let me tell you, somebody who's seen a few light rods, the weight will impress you. And I'm sure the sensitivity will impress me if I fish too. But here is the thing. This rod, to me, I'll tell you. If you go to the Osaka, Osaka Fishing Expo in Japan, this rod would be just about average. This rod is... I mean, if you buy the same power from Yamaga Blanks or anything from Olympic or all of these smaller Japanese companies, you can buy exact same weight and sensitivity for 300 bucks guaranteed. I don't really get the gaga. I think the gaga thing is only if you have never touched JDM product. Yes, in America, you're not gonna find anything better because what are you gonna find in Bass Pro Shops? Nothing, right? Even in Tackle Warehouse. Tackle Warehouse doesn't carry anything. NRX, my advice is go to the usual suspects that ship to United States from Japan and anything that costs $300 will be at least competitive at least competitive to the NRX let me show you one more rod nothing wrong with the rod except the price nothing wrong amazing rod I don't want to knock out the quality but this is not a $500 rod this is absurd especially with the conversion rate of the Japanese yen over $161 this is a $270 rod. Talking about $270 rods, these green labels here, I was told these are $270. Let me tell you the exact model. This is GCX. Now this rod weighs exactly twice the NRX. Oh, that's how it feels. Because the NRX feels like it's full of air. It has no tip. This one definitely has a tip. This is a tip heavy rod here. I mean, this one does not impress me with at all. It's cost $270, $270. Now the action is, I like this action more than any action on NRX. NRX are stiff broomsticks. They are rigid. I'm talking rigid. I don't care what action from one to the other, they are rigid. This one is more bendy but i would use this for carp something this thick the blank is heavier the guides are heavier and now this rod is i told you the model gcx 270 dollars again completely uncompetitive uncompetitive to 270 dollars from i mean from japan you can buy nrx level of quality for 270 dollars 
And I said the same thing about the Jumis ultra light rods. I gotta tell you, I hate to throw mud, especially on company like Shimano, but this specific label is severely overpriced. Uh, nothing wrong. They're all good quality products. They're all quality products, but everything is pretty much double. Not the cost, not double the cost. Double cost is no normal. They're double what competitive products on the market cost. The, this is probably the most, I thought St. Croix was overpriced until I tried this. I buy St. Croix instead of uh, Drew Loomis. That's how severely overpriced uh, this stuff is.